Okay, Dr. Stoll here with Simuli. Just want to talk about some of our visualization models and the evolution of things over time. So originally we had our um, red reflex and anterior segment OCT model, and that was really just to show how to demonstrate the red reflex on a microscope and also to use intraoperative uh, OCT technology like with the Zeiss uh, microscopes. And we didn't have a retina in there for visualization or anything like that. So that um, the next evolution of that was to try to get a more robust red reflex and so we called that model red reflex advanced and the difference with that is it had a, has a glass optic cornea um, and it actually had a little bit brighter red reflex and um, but that has subsequently evolved into what we call our bio model bio which is binocular indirect ophthalmoscopy so that's really for training with the headset the indirect learning how to view inside the eye um, with an indirect ophthalmoscope, but it has a lot more applications as well. It has um, not only just a red reflex, but it actually has a retina in the back of it. So I can kind of show you this with retroillumination. If I bring this up, you should be able to see into the back, um, if we can get it right there, that there's a retina back there for visualization purposes. And so this has really good optics. Um, there's no lens in this eye. There's no true anterior chamber or corneal curvature. It's really the glass optic and then the retina at the back. Um, so we get great visualization, again, for indirect ophthalmoscopy. You can put it at the slit lamp and use like a 90 or whatever to see in the back. And we are providing this in different pupil sizes. So we have our Bio 7, Bio 5, and Bio 3 with the pupil size differences. And so there are different you know, uses for those. But this has also subsequently evolved because we wanted to have something that's really for slit lamp training and to see the full anterior chamber. And so that model has now evolved into this, this is called SLE bio, slit lamp exam hyphen binocular indirect ophthalmoscopy. This model um, has a cornea, it's a hard cornea, but it has the true anterior and posterior curvature of the cornea. There's a true anterior chamber. There are angle structures which are marked, so you can put a gonioscopy lens on there and view the angle. It has the iris and it has a true lens inside. And then it has the same retina. And this eye is completely filled with gel, which kind of mimics water as far as refractive index. So we're using this eye for teaching slit lamp exam, teaching binocular indirect ophthalmoscopy, but it's also a good diagnostic eye on certain platforms where you can measure the length of the eye, like biometry. You can get OCT measurements of this eye. Um, you can get anterior and posterior curvatures, like tomography, of course, topography. And we're developing it out further really for the diagnostic devices to link into the OR and those types of systems. So that's going to require some vessel registration uh, that will be coming. But this SLE bio we believe can replace a lot of the other models before because now we get a red reflex off of it which is quite realistic. We can get anterior segment um, visualization, we can get slit lamp exam, binocular indirect ophthalmoscopy, um, OCT on machines, biometry, topography, tomography, and uh, just a lot of uses out of this one eye. So this is kind of where everything is going and what the platform will continue to evolve from. So thank you.